Welcome everyone to another a new series of World Box. If you are a nerd and you are a Jim Henson lover, you will probably recognize two of the names on this screen, at least. I think maybe even more. This is my render rendition of the Age of Resistance. Well, I mean, like, it's based, I love both the original movie and the, the new show, which and it's really good, it's really good. And as you can tell, I actually designed this map to be a simulation of the Age of Resistance. So, this place over here, this is just Podlings, okay? I didn't want to rename all of the Podling cities, because I was gonna, like, click, 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 okay? But I already started because I ha had to. Really started because I had to rename all of them. These guys are the Sifa, these are the Dusan, then you got the Vapra, you got the Groton, you got the Skeksis, and the Uru. You got the Spritten. Okay, I can't hook these two. I can't make blood packs with these guys. If I could, I would. Okay, I really would. Can't do that. But as you can tell, this is a very, very open map, except for the Podling Corner, which is just jam-packed with people. And there's going to be an insane race of colonization eventually. But the crystal cat. So each of these. Um, oh wait, I forgot. I have to add like two to this because this is the capital. <laughs> yeah. So I even um. So the Uru, I've actually gotten a mod, and this mod allows me to like choose traits with a uh, divine light. So I use divine light on this on the uh, Uru that we have, and the Ur this Uru has all like what you would think. This makes it so that they don't declare war on other states. So, and it's the opposite for the Skeksis. We got ugly because you have to admit they're bad. a strong, but they're blessed because I had to bless them, so they would do better. But yeah, and it's a pr I worked pretty hard on this map, and um, I uh, I would tell you the guy who made it, but it's not on the uh, picture I got, but. It's a really nice map. Really, really nice map. But, we didn't put Augur's Place. Actually, you know what? I'll put Augur's Place. But, I can't really... I'm trying to think of... What would be, like, the perfect one? Like, that kind of looks like an Augur. That's a good idea. Look, 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 look. Okay, so now... Okay, I'm gonna delete that Augur. So, what if my plan is, I just came up with... So, my plan is, is I can make this aggro using the traits. So, well, wise. I mean, strong-minded. Lucky. Blessed. Pacifist, peaceful. Regeneration. There's no, you can't have Immortal for some reason on this. There you go. Now with Divine Light, I can give him all those abilities. This cheats all of those abilities. Oh, wow. Why is the cheap ugly? Oh. Oh, yeah. And then I can rename this one to, I'm going to favorite it because, Og. We're, uh, I don't, that's not. There you go. There you go, that's Agra. Agra the sheep, because that's the closest thing we got. And with a time scale button, you can make things go really, really fast. We're setting it to 10 all, oh, definitely. Oh, that's just Greystill Place. And I can also change the kingdom color. Look, I'm gonna make the Skeksis um, blood red because they're the Skeksis. Red. There we go. Let me make. How do you make it darker? That's not... There we go. And look, it's a different color now. Isn't that cool? It is pretty cool. And there's also fast cities. I'm. Um, we're not gonna mess with this, but I might do fast border. Because it's fun whenever they expand really quickly. So we're going to set this to 10. Set border rate to 10. And then we're going to go to time scale, which is set to 10 as well. So, yeah. 
this is going to be pretty fun. I mean, the Uru are going to be kind of pretty interesting to see because they have a very, very small t area in the Valley of the Uru. And then you got the Drenchin. I like Agro because she's just wandering. Okay, so I'm pause it, and Agro immediately just starts wandering. She's doing pretty well. So, these are the Groton, and they're fighting off the... Oh. Well, I thought I could make it so the bears wouldn't fight the wolves, but that's not happening, I guess. So the Groton have bears, uh, have wolves as their companions, because... Oh, wow, the Skeksis already have a cat colony. That was quick. Oh, the Podlings are just like... Mm! Expansion. Actually, we're going to get rid of the fast borders. False. The Podlings already have a colony. Have, like, so many empires up here already. Look at all the Podlings over here. Podlings are enjoying themselves. Oh, God. I don't know who they are, so we're gonna smite them. Smite? A rate. There we go. They're smitten. Sm no, smite. They're sm they were smited. Please tell me the Uru aren't fighting in a war with these guys. Oh, wow. They're not fighting. What just happened there? I'm actually confused. I'm actually gonna add one to the Uru because they can't. Uru, go, 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 go! Okay. Come on, no, not the. Oh, Skexy, no, no, no. Okay. The Spritten are just. Why? Stop hurting the Gelp, the, Ske the Uru. They didn't do anything to you. Okay, so these. The Skexies are doing pretty well. The Doosan are whooping butt over here, look at that. So are the, uh, these ones, and Harar is doing pretty well. Man! Oh, wow. What? See, this is what happens when life just explores for no reason, so... Destroy! Then you, oh, wow. So, you got the Drenchin and the Spritten, and they're, <laughs> they're uh, just like, Get out of our town! Even though they're supposed to be the peace-loving... That means we're uh, gonna make the uru here, cause. Pause, and then we're gonna. That was the wrong button. This great smurf is winning the bet in like most population, so. There you go. There's the uru. There you are. The Skaxies are whooping butt over here. Look at that. Yeah. The Doosan are just like... <clears throat> so, the... The what? Who are these people? The Uru. The Uru are the best civilization right now. now the, I feel the Podlings are just blasting each other to the ground. They're just like... <clears throat> the Podlings do not like each other. The Grodden have actually colonized somewhere, and but the... These ones have a kind of a disadvantage because they live in an ice wasteland. So, I'm surprised. I thought this place would be already being colonized so much. It's just not. The Uru are actually surviving. I'm happy to see that. They got a colony. The Uru have a colony. We're actually going to put uh, the Spritten. The Spritten were uh, jerks, so the Spritten have to leave and they live here now. <coughs> These are the new Spritten. Brighton. There. The new Spriton. Because they were jerks to the Uru. Oh, I just realized the Drenchin are going to fight another war with the Uru. How am I supposed to save the Uru from everyone else? <sighs> Man, they're doing... The Skeksis are doing well. Not surprised. So These guys are doing well. Man, the Grodden are beating the crap out of stuff. They're just wooden butt. Doing pretty well, surprisingly. Then Podlings still playing, still simulating Europe for, in the medieval ages. So, actually, I don't think this will be a series because it's kind of actually just better as a one-time thing. And then look at that. The, I'm surprised these ones aren't doing as well. So I'm actually gonna give them a little boost because. 
this isn't fair. They're the they need to be the colonizers in the imperial army or something, I guess. They're gonna set it to just uh, normal time scale and use the time scale button here, cause I feel like that's changing, messing with the AI. But yeah, you can tell that the Uru are doing okay. Yeah, they're actually surviving. <laughs> the drenching are just like, mm! time to destroy the Uru. I'm actually gonna pause the game for a second and just get little dots of the land and throughout this because it's a it's the Great Smurf. It's gonna have like it's just a swamp, so I'm gonna just make it so that they can colonize throughout the whole thing. So I gotta make it very planned. There you go. Now that they can colonize down there, they won't kill off the Uru. I feel bad for the Uru. I did not mean for that to happen. Dwarves aren't doing very well because the uh, AI thing I, I I mentioned. I think. Oh look. The Doosan have sent a colony out. That's good for them. You've got the Harar, that they're still a city state, still a city state. That's alright. Can live like that. Oh, I forgot these things have to eat. The Groton are just gonna whoop everyone's butt because of them just being near no one. Oh god. <laughs> this Britain are just like trying to rebuild their society after, uh, uh, or the uh, oh, I thought he was just sending in a war party. Yeah, so this is actually pretty good. Look at that. The Uru are finally actually populated. We're gonna turn on fast buildings because I'm gonna set it to 1,000 times speed for a second. Oh, I just broke the game. Okay, that's a bad idea. Retreat, fall back. Okay, that was bad. So you can tell the podlings are still beating the crap out of each other. It's good, good, good way to take, put out your anger, podlings. We, yeah, Spritten are doing okay. There's oh, they don't have any resources. And they got a mountain. They got a mountain. Oh my God, that, that's good. So then, oh. The first colonies out in the west. There we go. It just was a weird glitch thing. The Skeksis are doing okay. Not really, actually. They're doing pretty bad. The Doosan are doing pretty well. 40 population. That's I think that's the highest on the map. Yeah, that's the highest on the map. Almost, but the Grodden are probably going to beat the crap out of them. I was actually expecting the Groton to be screwed because of how tiny of a la land they can have in the beginning. I was very wrong. Yeah, so the Uru are alright. Don't know about the Drenchin. The Drenchin are probably going to fight a massive war with them and I'm going to be very mad. I could change the color of all the pod things. Ah, that's, yeah. Okay, they're doing well. Oh, come on. The Drenchin are just deciding to take out the Spritten. They're just like, hey, you know, we destroyed your ancestors, we're gonna destroy you again. That's just cruel. I mean, the Groton, I like how they're, like, the most imperialistic, yet they're in the shows, they are the most peaceful. The Doosan are just imperial. I, I, I mean, that makes sense. I was exp why are the Skeksis doing better? I'm gonna give them a pop- no, that doesn't help. What's wrong with them? I don't know why they're not doing well. That's odd. Look at that. Drenchin are doing freaking amazing. Actually, let's pause time for a second. We're gonna see this. We're gonna set the fast borders to true. We're gonna set all these to true so they don't- There we go. That's all we need. You know, this is going to be probably one of the worst fronts of all time. Oh, there it is! The first Uru goes over to the ske to the Drenchin to beat them up, of course. Oh, thank, thank God. I thought the Spritten were going to be wiped out. Oh, 
I think they are. No, they're just going and sending an army. No, those are the podlings! The podlings! I'm beyond confused. Are the Spritten just... The, the Spritten just committed... They just destroyed their entire civilization. Oh, no! The Uru! Oh, time for some god powers. The Uru are gonna get something called the Bless. I don't know. They're gonna. God. God allows the Uru to survive. Not the stupid. It's horrible. Drenchin. You know what, Drenchin? You get the freaking plague. No, 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 I can't do that. No plague. Why are these ones, like, destroying everyone? It's because I gave them the ugly trait. Um. Remove ugly. Yeah, I'll keep ugly. I wonder how uh, our sheep is doing. There we go. You guys all get the ugly trait removed. How is Augra doing? I wonder. Oh, I think Augra's dead. Oh yeah, the, the wolves killed Augra. Oh. Okay, the Uru are fighting back. They were able to survive. Okay, the Drenchian have two super cities, pretty much. And but, oh god, the Groton just Same with the Doosan. The Doosan are destroying everything. Everything is sight. I thought this removing the ugly Oh my gosh, the Skeksis are gonna fight a war with the Uru. Oh my gosh. How can I boost you guys? I guess I could like Oh three there. Is that good? Does this help you? In any way, Ske- Okay, I feel weird now, because I'm helping the Skeksis. But also, I feel good because I'm helping the Skeksis. There you guys go, there's some crops. What else do you guys need? Okay, so why is everything going back to normal taste time speed? There you go, that looks faster. Oh, the Drenchin are fighting and losing. Okay, so there's four Podling Empires left. That's good. And then... Harar is on four population. The Dwarves are just stuck at four! I was not prepared for that. I should have done some testing. Well, everyone, I feel like that's a good time to end, so... Let's see what happened. Well, the Spritten were extinct twice. Oh. Like 20 Podling Empires were collapsed. The Groton. I don't get this. The Doosan have already hit 100. The Uru are at 66. I mean. It's not. The Doosan. Mother of Glock. Well, everyone, hope you enjoy this episode of World Box. That's what it's called. And everyone, I forgot to tell you. I, I almost forgot. I've gotten a lot of good stuff happening today. And you know what else? We're going to see some names pop up very soon about people that subscribed today from Reddit. These people made me very happy today. Very, very happy. So... Let's see those names. 